Okay, so I'll record this part. So here's how we can set up for our homework, right? And if you guys can still interrupt me, it's okay if you have a question, but you might be in a video that might be on, I might upload it, okay? But anyways, um, so where do we begin? The first thing, let me hide these. So I don't, I'm not gonna throw that away. I am gonna close that. Okay, so where do we begin? The first thing you wanna do is make a new document. So I'm gonna go File New, and we want it to be eight and a half by 11. So, or actually it's 11 by eight and a half. So print, it's gonna be 11, and it's gonna be eight, eight and a half. Okay, and then you want the page orientation to be uh, wide. So <clears throat> they call it landscape as wide. 300 pixels per inch. You definitely want to be 300 pixels per inch. And uh, that's it. I mean, let's see. RGB, we actually work in RGB. We'll talk about it in the future. Um, for print, print is CMYK, but we work in Photoshop at RGB because we have more flexibility for uh, um, filters and effects. They work in RGB, but anyways, that's what we want. Background, and this is normally what we want. So we hit okay. So this is gonna be, this is what we call our host document. Our host document meaning this is where we're gonna assemble or put together our project. All right, and then this is what I would name. Like if I was a student, I would name, I'll name mine. So let's see, I'm gonna go save as, and you wanna save it as, let's see, I gotta find my, my folder, my FITM folder. Let's see, you would save this as, Brianna already asked, but it's gonna be, what, 2200, your last name, um, zero two, because this is just project two. And Photoshop file, save it as a Photoshop file. If you saved it as a Photoshop PDF right away, that's okay, but um, save this one as a Photoshop file, and then your copy that you save later, you save as Photoshop PDF at 150. Okay, anyways, 2200 Smith 02, I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so here it is, here's my thing. Now I wanna get those images ready. So normally you would open one at a time. I'm gonna open like all of them rapidly. So let's see here. And how do I do that? You don't, excuse me, you don't have to open all your projects. Oh, I just closed my thing, you're kidding me. You don't have to open all your images rapidly, but I will just to save time. You can open them one at a time. If you use Bridge, you can um, open your folder where all those images were. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold control and click on all of the images I want to select. I skipped this one because it's already open. And then if I double click on one, they'll all open up. So here they are, they're all gonna open up in my whatever, my tab. All right. You could do one at a time and they'll just be up here. Okay, great. Now we need to change the image size of these images. And so this is where we have to be careful because the instructor that put these together, she has some tricky ones in there. She has some centimeters per inch and that totally screws everything up. And so I caught myself this time, but I'm gonna start with, let's see what we got here, the tree, I guess. So I'm gonna check my, so I need to change the image size. I need to make it a smart object. So I'm gonna go image, image, oh, image size, let's see what we got. Aha, here it is, pixels per centimeter. We don't want that. We want pixels per inch. So she's trying to trick us. And that's a pretty good trick. This is weird though, look at this. It's too, look at what it did. It's 299.9999 and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, is that okay? Is that the same as 300? It might be okay. That's kind of a weird glitch. That happens sometimes. I would probably just make this 300. Okay. So there we go. Now, I need to, the first step is making sure the resolution is correct. And you want resample unchecked. Okay, so there it is. And it was either close or very close, but it's, it's fine. Now what I need to do is I need to change the size. And your handout recommends that, let's see, this is the tree, 8.5 inches tall. So this is where I check the resample because I wanna keep the resolution at 300. So I'm gonna click here. It's just the height and the width now. So I want the height to be 8.5. And you can see that the width is adjusting and that's pretty good. So I'm gonna hit okay. 
then you, you want to not forget, you want this to be a smart object. You could name it too. Um, let's see this. I could name it tree. Okay. Name it. And then I want to make it a smart object. So to make it a smart object, the easiest way is to go to your options for layers, convert to smart object. So that one's good to go. It's, I know it's a smart object as this little picture. Good. Now I'm going to go to my model. Here's my model. Uh, first, I want to check the image size. So I go image size on the model. Let's see. And uh, it's at pixels per inch, but it's only 180 resolution. So I want this to be 300. So I'm going to click on resample. <clears throat> I'm going to uncheck resample. So all three are, are selected. I'm going to make this 300. And why am I doing that? Again, it's because I am I'm making the resolution compatible with the resolution of my document. And you don't want resample checked because, not yet, because you want the height and width to adjust to the new resolution first. You want the height and width to readjust to the new resolution first. Then, if you want to change the size, you would click resample so it only changes the height and width. The resolution is locked. And let's see, the, the model needs to be six inches tall. So six inches in height, pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. She's pretty good. I could, I could rename her model. I, she needs to be a smart object. Let me see if I can right click it. Yep, I can right click it. Some, if it doesn't let you right click it, just go to options. And then don't forget to make it a layer into a smart object. You can also go to layer and go smart object, convert to smart. So there's a couple different ways on how to do that. Okay, so she's ready. Let's see, I'm gonna go frame. What do I need to do with the frame? Well, first I wanna check the image size. It is 300, it is pixels per inch. So, okay, so what's the height? The height needs to be six inches. What if you made it a smart object after you already made it a mask? Is there going to be like a big difference? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Was was it which which one was it? Was it a complicated one? Well, I kind of did them all while you were doing them and then forgot I had to make it a smart object. Yeah, you can't do that. So let's see. Um Let me try something real quick. I'll I'll look at it. I want, to be, able to, I want to be able to see your mask without double clicking on the smart object. I'll show you, I'll show you what, what that's about. Haley, do you have a question? Yeah, sorry. I had a question. Um, so doing the handbag, I can't like, the thing won't let me edit. It says that that's smart, the smart thingy is on. And that you it make the mask? No, I can't make the mask. Like I can't. Is this the new one or the or the one that we did for the in class? The in class one. Like I I it won't let me um, edit the bag. Okay, so maybe <clears throat> maybe um, answering Jessica's question will also answer your question. Let's find out. So let me um, let me start to collect some of my images into my project, and then we'll play around with them, and hopefully this will answer both of your questions. Yeah, because so my my thing is saying can not complete your request because the smart object is not directly um, at a, like it's not, you can't edit it. Probably what you want to do is make it a rasterize it. So let me, let me check, let me check real quick for, uh, let me see. so I'm going to just quickly drag this into my homework. So what I would do normally is I would drag this into my you know, let me set up everything first and then let me, they'll take five more minutes and then I'll answer your questions because I'm recording this. But let me just, I'm going to throw this into my project. Let's see. Here it is. Oh gosh, that's stupid. I can't do it that way. Let me finish this real quick and then I'll, I'll answer it. So let's see. So I'm going to drag this in here. So here's my frame. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I can close this one now. Let me just quickly, um, let me quickly finish. So let's see, I got my bag, oh, okay, flower. Okay, so I'm going to check the image size. It's pixels per inch, uncheck resample. I'm gonna make this 300. I'm gonna make this, this only needs to be one inch tall, which is super small, but oh well, one inch. I'm gonna hit okay. 
I'm going to rename it, double click it, flower. I'm going to right click and make it a smart object. You might have to click here. Okay, let's see. I got my bag. I'm going to check the image size. One of these, I think it's the background, has centimeters per inch. I'm going to check this. It's going to be 300. This needs to be, the bag needs to be two inches tall. Okay, I want to be, a, I'm gonna rename it. I want it to be a smart object. I'm gonna right click on it, convert to smart object. That's good. Finally, let's see, is this the background? Did I not open my background? Here's the background. Okay, so I'm gonna double check. I think this might be centimeters per inch. Let's find out. It is pixels per centimeter. So I'm gonna make this is so this is a tricky one. Pixels per inch first. Then I'm gonna check. I want to change the resolution to be 300. Then um, and I think Jessica asked this earlier. She said if the width is 11. Oh no no no. If the height is 8.5, it has a little extra in width. Is that okay? It is. Technically, you could crop it a little, but ah, don't worry about that. Let's, um, and there is a complicated way to crop it, but let's not do that. Let's, um, it's okay to have a little extra when we drag it in, especially, especially when it's so close. Oh, but I screwed up. Look, I screwed up. So undo. Dang it. I got to cancel. See, I, my resolution, I screwed up. Okay, here we go. I'll do it again. Image, image size. First, uncheck resample. Three, oh, first, pixels per inch. Then, 300, then, then I have to check resample. The 300 resolution pixels per inch is locked. Now I'm gonna change the width to be 11. What happened was, is all three were connected and it changed my resolution, so that was bad. Oh, shoot, I'm still doing it wrong. 8.5, so it's a little, it's a little longer. 8.5 is what I want. Why is it height, height 8.5? Um, because, because the height of the host document is 8.5. If I did 11, which I did on accident, you'll notice that it was a little shorter than 8.5. So this is what we want. So you can watch this video later. This is what you want right here. I'm going to hit okay. Okay, there it is. I want to be uh, named. I'm going to name it back or background. It was already named background, but you want to rename it. Then right click. Okay, this is a smart object. Okay, so now I wanna get all my images into my project. So let's see, and then I'll answer my questions. So what I can do is I can just drag this directly into my project. I can drag the layer, so I drag this, I position it right on the top of my tab for my project. Then I'm gonna, I, I move it down, I haven't let go of my mouse. When I let go, it's gonna put it inside. If I hold shift, it'll center it. So I'm gonna hold shift and it's gonna center that background. So that's pretty good. I can close my background image now. I'm gonna hit, I'm not gonna save these. If you want, you can save those images at the correct file size, at the new correct file size. If you screwed up, let's say you, you saved it and you screwed up, then just download it from my Canvas site again to adjust it again, right? Anyways, let me quickly get these in here and I'll stop my video. Here's my bag. I'm gonna drag it into my project. I'm gonna let go. I could hold shift, I'll hold shift. There it is. Now there's another way to drag these images in. Let's see, I don't have my tree. You could drag your, doc, your picture down, your document down so it's a separate window. Then you could just drag that in or you could drag the layer in. It, it's, it's just another way to do it. There it is, I can move it around. All right, I can close this extra window. No, I'm not gonna save it. Let's see, I got my flower. I'm just gonna drag that in. Oh, ooh, why is that weird? Why didn't that work? Oh, I didn't, I didn't change the image size? I screwed up. Look at this. Resolution 4000. Darn it. Okay, so I would, I screwed up on that one. So I would have to read down, if I was a student, I would re-download it, change it correctly, and not follow what I did in that video. So I screwed that one up. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Here's my model. I drag her in. 
Okay, so she is correct. I'm not going to save her. And I guess I think I, got, I think I have everything. Here are my layers. One more thing. Um, you guys are going to want to So you want to make sure your layers are renamed. You're going to want to make sure they're smart objects. And then you want to make sure you, I don't know if I have all my layers in there. I might be, I'm missing the flower. I might be missing something. Um, but you want to make sure that um, your layers are in layer groups, right? How many layer groups? Give me two at least. And, um, you know, so how do you make a layer group? I'll just quickly show you. You go um, option for layers and you can go new group. You can name it. I'm going to name it, um, you know, I don't have a lot of stuff. I don't have a lot of different things to put into a group. Let's see. I'm just going to name it. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it objects. I recommend objects. So I have objects and I can put my bag in there. So how do I put a layer into a group? I can drag this and put it directly on top of that group. And if I let go, it puts it in there. If it's indented, you know it's in there. And I'm gonna drag my frame in there. So I'm gonna drag my frame, I'm gonna put it in there. So I've got two layers in my objects group. And how do you test to see if they're in there? Well, you can hide the group if, they're, if they both hide. Well, it's hard to tell, but they're hiding. Okay, I want another group. So new group, I'll just name this uh, people. <laughs> People, I'm going to put my model in there and I'm going to put my tree in there. So, oh, something happened. I accidentally put my group in the other group. You can see how the group people is indented in objects. So I'm going to drag this out and on top and position it there. So if you ever want to move something out of a group, you just move it on top or on the bottom. So here it is. Okay, I'm gonna drag my model person in there and I'm gonna put the tree in there. Trees is living. I could have named it living. Um, I think your handout says one layer group. So if you did one layer group, okay. But, I, but since you're listening and you're here, do two and organize them. Remember though, everything in this layer group is going to be on top of everything in this layer group. So you might want to adjust things. Like I might want these objects to be on top of the people. So I would, well, it depends. Oh gosh, I don't know. It could be a problem. She needs to be on top of that. This thing needs to be behind. You know what's a good way to do here? Here's what you can do. You can do, um, this group can be foreground or in front. And this group can be behind. That way you can put the layers that you want to be behind everything in here and the layers that you want to be in front to be up here. That's ah, up to you. Okay, that's it. So let's see, I think I told, oh, and then finally, let me just show you, let's imagine I did all my masks, everything's good to go. And now I need to save this as a lower, a smaller image. So I would save this at 300 pixels per inch. So save 300 pixels per inch. Now I need to save it. I need to make the image smaller. So I want to save a copy. So here's how you do it. You go image, image size, and you're going to change the resolution to be 150. This is going to make my project 150 pixels per inch. And what I want to do is I want to save this as my new version. You want to save your old version before you do this, but and I did that. So here we go. So I'll show you again. Image size. Make sure resample is checked, and you're going to go 150. It should still be eight and a half by eleven or eleven by eight and a half, but it's 150. I'm gonna hit OK. My image is gonna get smaller. This is what you do when you're all done. I'm not all done, but when you're all done, you do this. Now I want to save this as Photoshop PDF. So I'm going to go file, save as, that's how you save a copy. And um, you can save it. So here's, you save as type, Photoshop PDF. Oh, now 
Now I recommend this. Um, Brianne asked earlier, what do we name this? If you if you don't name it low, it's okay. But I would recommend, I highly recommend that your copy you save as low at the end. That way there's a distinction. This is 2200, my last name, 02, low. This is the low version, the low resolution version. If you didn't name it low and you just saved a copy, that's fine. But if you hear this and remember, do it this way, right? And I just hit save. And so this is the Photoshop PDF, save it. That's the one you're gonna upload. This is okay. You get options here when you save it. By default, it's checked. Preserve Photoshop editing, that's good. By default, that's there. So you shouldn't have to worry about that, but you can check. You want that check mark. Anyways, that's okay. So I hit, hit save. I'm gonna hit okay. And that's it. And then you're gonna upload that to Canvas. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, I reviewed all that stuff. Hopefully this will help. Now I'm gonna answer your guys' questions, but let me stop recording. So I'm gonna stop recording.